Grant, speaking after that 4-3 uh, defeat by Birmingham, firstly, have you ever played in a game of that sort before? No, never. Uh, the contrast between both halves, I've never ever played in a game like that. I mean, it's mixed emotions. Uh, disappointment that we didn't take anything from the game in the end, to be honest. But, you know, being 4 1 down, 4 0 down, we didn't deserve anything from the game. Well, if you look at the second half, we did, but we, we can't concede four goals at home and expect to, you know, win games. So um, we're, we're very disappointed, yeah. As you said, there's two ways you can look at it the first half performance to go 4 0 down, yeah. all the fight back in the second half. Do you try and focus now on, on the uh, positive from, yeah. from the fight back? Of course, we've got to take, you know, the character that boys showed. You know, we fought second half. We could have, you know, everything could have just collapsed in the second half. Um, but we fought back and, you know, I was unlucky not to get a draw in the end, missed a penalty at the last minute. But, you know, the first half was unacceptable from all of us. We all take responsibility. It wasn't good enough. And we need to move on and take the second half into Tuesday. On the plus side, for yourself personally, um, that's uh, 90 minutes yeah. twice in four days. Um, yeah. And I'm not entirely sure when the last time that happened was but um, you must yeah, my last feel that's a real uh, real bonus my last league 90 minutes I think was Millwall away when uh, the manager was Ian Holloway you know that was I think that was over a year ago now um, so it's, it's a positive for me and physically I feel good you know I felt fine obviously you know it's a tough game to come back into being 4-0 down um, never want to come back into a game like that but you know my knee's good and you know I can take positives from the game do you feel like it's a big step just uh, to have not only started these two games, but as you say, got through them, touch wood, no problems? Yeah, yeah. of course, I, I, I feel great, personally. Um, I don't see there being any issues with my knee from now on. Uh, physically, I feel fantastic. It's best, best I've felt in a long time. And now, for me, it's just getting back into game action. You know, you can't replicate what you do in games, you know, match fitness. And, um, you know, today, I think the first half's a learning experience for us all. And we'll, we'll take positives out of the second half. Uh, we're all thoroughly disappointed that we didn't get something from the game in the end, and that's, that says a lot, being 4-0 down. So, um, yeah, we move on. You refer back to uh, playing under Ian Holloway. remember um, quite a few occasions you were used as a defensive yeah. midfield player yeah. um, under uh, under his management. Um, there was a lot of chopping and changing today, inevitably, but, but you stayed there at the heart of defence. Do you see that as the long-term uh, um, position for yourself? Or? Yeah, it's my main position. Um, I've always played there. I mean, I, I did a job for the team, playing uh, obviously centre midfield at times, and you know, did okay in there. So, but if I'm needed in there, I, you know, I'm happy to do a job. But my main position is centre back, and you know, it's about me just getting as many games as I can now, you know, and just getting into league games again, getting playing proper football again. You know, because as I say, you can't you can't get that anywhere else. You know, um, I can do all the training outside of football. I can play in friendly games. You know, it's not the same as, as championship action. It's not. So um, I can take positives from today, and obviously I need to you know review the game first half. Especially, we all need to sit down and have a look what went wrong because I think everything that could go wrong went wrong in the first half. So um, yeah, we're, we're all disappointed, but you know, it's, it's another game Tuesday, so we need to move on very quickly. And, uh, and finally, everyone, of course, is excited about the way the club has progressed in the FA Cup. But as you say, there is another game Tuesday in the league, so important for uh, not to take your eye off the ball. Yeah, we can't that. we can't think about Watford right now. We've got Bristol City away Tuesday, and we need to start picking up results in the league. You know, it's, um, our form's not been good enough in the league. So we're not even thinking about Watford right now. It's Tuesday. <laughs>